All right, YouTube world, how's it going? We're back at it with another one. We're at the Steel Hill Resorts in Sam Borton, New Hampshire. So we're going to check it out, let you know what the ambiance is like, what the rooms are like, what the food is like. We're going to give you a little bit of it all. There's a little bit of the outside building here. This is uh, their main clubhouse building, and then those are their two and three bedrooms. So we're going to head up in that tower there and see what it's all about. All right, stay tuned, guys. Here we are, back for another one, Jonicle's journey. Checking in a new hotel, heading into 51D, 51D. So you come in, split into two. We are at Steel Hill Resorts. We are in New Hampshire, guys. Coming right in. This is our room. This is our suite. Beautiful, beautiful, full kitchen. We've got a stove, microwave, fully stocked with all the amenities. You name it, it's here. We've got dishware, we've got plates. Steel Hill Vacation Club invited us up to come check out their beautiful resort. When we checked in, they gave us all of these snacks. It's like they knew my favorite, peanut M&Ms. Michael's favorite popcorn, coffee, full fridge. So again, we brought beers. We'll be doing a beer review later for those of you following us. Sneak peek. I'm drinking high noons. They gave us water, juice upon check-in, which is awesome. Looking forward to that with the coffee in the morning. I'll take you around. Here's the living room table. This has some leaves in it so you can make it bigger. Beautiful map of Lake Winnipesaukee. So we are up in New Hampshire, guys. Look at that. That's where we are. Here's our TV. Fireplace. Let's check this out. Let's get that going. Look at that. Pirates of the Caribbean on TV. And look at this view. Oh, hey there. Hey, guys. <laughs> How are you? Look at this. Enough of me. Just look at that over there. Look at this. Can you believe it? We are enjoying this pano view. Panoramic view of the mountains. It looks like a Bob Ross painting. Bob Ross painting. I will cheers to that. It's my handy dandy bun life. So there's a tent over there. It looks like they have events going on. That is Lake Winnipesaukee. Look at that. We drove up here. Um, a little under two hours. Two hours from our house. Here for a couple of nights. This is a golf course. They have the grills down there. Yeah, grills and picnic tables. We're up on the third floor. Um, every unit has its own balcony, it looks like. They might be doing weddings over there. Set up after, after yes, well, look so. in there. They've got chairs and tables. And then um, look at this huge balcony. It has four, four seats, a little side table, a round table over there. Privacy from your neighbors. Let's check it out. Look at this view one more time. We're gonna be getting, going, guys. There's um, one of the pool areas over there. We haven't been yet, but we'll be sure to show you once we go over. All sorts of activities. We kind of get a dirty dancing feel here. Yeah. Activities, yeah. painting, crafts tomorrow. They have hiking trails. Go to the view one more time. <laughs> go to the view. Look at that view, guys. Oh my God. Pause in that view for a second. Ladies and gentlemen, just pause and reflect for a moment on the beauty of nature. And now we'll move on. <laughs> we saw something over there animal-wise. Maybe a badger or something. We couldn't figure out what it was. We're going to go out and discover it later. So other side of the balcony, you come in, and that brings us to the bedroom. Got air conditioned units. Live free, explore the beauty of New Hampshire. That sounds right to me. Live free and explore the beauty of New Hampshire. Plenty of dressers, another TV in here. What's in that closet over there, Michael? Oh, Murph Mania, you will love this. Jen, just take a peek at that. <laughs> what is it? Oh. A box fan. <laughs> a box fan, some um, hangers in that closet area. Just see the bedroom a little bit from a new angle. There's that view. Looking forward to waking up to that tomorrow. See what's out here. Have our own wall unit. 
We got some closets here. Yep. Got some extra linens and pillowcases. That's that green cooler up there. It goes everywhere with us. <laughs> Is that a dirt devil? That's what it looks like. Yeah, if you want to vacuum on your own, you can do that. <laughs> and then in here, wow, a full washer dryer unit, stackable. We will definitely be taking advantage of that before heading home. What do you think, Jen? You want to move here? <laughs> I don't know, but I definitely want to stay here for a bit. <laughs> Got a bathtub, pretty standard, nice hooks over here. Everything looks clean. It was an easy check-in. Um, one person checks in at a time, and for checkout, it will be via cell phone. So that's all we know so far. We're going to go out and explore and see where the night takes us. Yeah, guys, we're going to check out the, the rooms, the amenities, the, uh, the food. Oh, the yes, the food. The restaurant, content, so. restaurant is closed tonight, closed on Wednesday, so we're going to see where the night takes us, maybe get some takeout and just um, enjoy the room. We'll check in. All right, take care, guys. All right, guys, so we're in the hot tub right now. Just chilling. Checking so, in late night. Outdoor hot tub action here. We got some drinks going on in the hot tub. Um, just can't us. Can't go wrong with that, just us. Um, there's also an indoor pool right there's over there, right pool. behind us. So. Yep, there's another pool and hot tub inside. We'll try to get in there for you, but that's a good shot, I think. And look and at the, that moon. And then there's an outdoor pool over there, <laughs> summertime. Yes, and then another pool there, and then it overlooks, that's the um, lake right behind us, so. We're just chilling. And yeah, we're just enjoying ourselves in this hot tub right now. Just straight up chilling. Uh, and stay tuned, we got more stuff coming for you guys, all right? Hi. Take Morning guys, so we're gonna do a dust test. So one thing that you always check for hotels, what I like to check to see is how good the housekeepers are really doing. One place that gets ignored a lot is the top of the paintings. If it's dusty up there, that's poor quality for the housekeeper. So let's see if the housekeeper's doing her job. I'm gonna run my finger here, and it's picked up very little dust, so they got about a B there. Um, sometimes I've done this and it's in your fingers, it's coated with dust, and that's an F. So they got about a B there, so they do a pretty good job here. And another thing I wanna point out is they come with their own um, USB HDMI core um, ports here. So I've read that um, you can actually request a fire stick. So if you wanna watch Netflix or something, you can uh, request a fire stick and, the, and you plug it right there and you could um, watch some Netflix and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool that they have that right there. You don't have to go behind the TV. That's pretty key right there. So stay tuned, guys. We're gonna, guys we're gonna, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna bring you more content shortly. All right, guys, so about 20 minutes from the hotel, there is a brewery called Kettle Brewing Company, Kettle Hat Brewing Company, and I went with their Nuevo Mex Fresco. Nuevo Fresco beer, and the lovely Jen went with um, some hoppy beer, some hoppy IPA. So um, I'm gonna give my beer a taste right now and let you know what I what you guys think. Cheers, Jen. Oh yeah, that's smooth and refreshing. About an 8.5, very good. All right, guys, come in from you inside the Steel Hill Resorts building. So this is the main tower here. This is where they have um, the pools, the tower where you can see the observation deck. You can get uh, beach towels. They normally would have a bar over here. Looks like it's closed. I think it did say it was open um, open today, but it doesn't look like anyone's over there, probably due to COVID. Yep. Uh, but uh, take a look at the pool. So there's one of two indoor pools they have here at the resort. Um, we were at the other pool yesterday. This is the main pool. That's their Roman hot tub. You can see it has a really cool um, glass ceiling that looks like it might open up in the nice weather they have some water slides in there as well yeah water slides we'll take you in all right guys we are heading up to the viewing tower we don't know how far up this goes but we're taking you along with us so it keeps going we'll check in all right, guys, so we made it on top of the viewing tower here. We're inside the tower right now. Um, you do need a special key. It's not your room key. You have to go to the front desk and uh, request a specific fob that um, gains you access to the viewing tower. Here you go. Um, there it is. It's hot up here. Yeah, it's like a sauna up here. The air conditioner is not working up here. It's 85 degrees outside. It feels like it's 95 Ooh. inside here at least. They do have the air conditioner on, but I don't know if it is working, but we wanted to show you real quick, and then we're going to run downstairs and hop in the pool, I think. Absolutely. So let's show you what we're working with here. So here are some of the views. Look at that. 
It's a beautiful view, guys. They give you kind of a directional here on what you're looking at. Lake Winnipesaukee, shout out to K-Mac. What's up? All the way across there. <laughs> so our room is um, right down by that brown building and then the tent that you saw from our room is over to the right that way, I believe. The loom. Yeah. The bell tower. New location, they give you new destinations over here. You can see um, one of the playgrounds down there. Yeah, for the, all they have little ones, there's a playground they can play with. Um, That's where we parked, right down there, see the silver car? We have no interest in these playgrounds, <laughs> let's be real. Yep, this is it, this is the, uh, the tower. All right guys, stay tuned. Definitely check this place out if you guys come, this is the spot to be. Yep. All right, guys, for the old y'all that are like my older brother Tito and my cousin Brandon, who are, are gamers, there's a whole gaming station right behind yeah. us here. We're gonna show you so, all we're gonna we show you that. Um, there's ping pong tables, there's um, looks like an air hockey table, there's a bunch of gaming stations for all you gamers out there. We're gonna check it out right Take now. Take around. They're up on the second floor. That's the check in desk down there. A nice sitting area, fireplace, outside seating as well. And then there are those gaming chairs Michael was talking about, so you can get your controllers and whatever kind of games you like to play right yeah uh, i think they said they had ps4 um, um and um the newest nintendo um as well i think I, i'm not quite sure there's a ton of stations here so you can have your own personal section you bet this place is popping on and a rainy have, day that trap of machine here so um you want to um, invest 30 dollars for a teddy bear that costs 10 two dollars um there's that machine there too all sorts of tables set up then you come over here, we've got some foosball, air hockey, ping pong tables, change machine, haven't seen one of those in a long time. And that's it, so I think this is what they call the, the West, the West building. Let's take Absolutely. one more look down at the pool. Yeah. It's really warm in this whole building actually, so this would probably be amazing in the winter. Give that a shot. It looks like they're assigning tables to guests. So when you come in, you get a table assigned to you and that's kind of how they're keeping everyone distant. Oh, we've got someone going down that slide. Maybe we can catch them in action. Let's see. Two on the slide, ladies and gentlemen. There he goes, down the slide. <laughs> and he's done. Wow, he looked like he loved it. <laughs> Just set. Yes. Game pieces available at desk, which I think is also where you can get the racquetballs, um, volleyballs, tennis stuff, golf, you name it, they have it. We also learned they stock their pond with fish. And there's a snowmobile trail right behind us, so lots of snowmobilers fans come here. Also, a little build your own beer stuff over here. Build your beer. All right, guys, for those of you who are interested in getting married at the Steel Hill Resorts, check this out. This is where it looks like the weddings happen. Look at that amazing view. So this is where the bride will basically be walking down the aisle here. And she'll be walking down here, the guests on either side. Looks pretty amazing. Amazing view here. Come down, dun dun dun, dun all that good stuff. Speed it up a little bit. And then, boom, I just would imagine that there's maybe like an archway or something there. And then you're left with this amazing view of the lake. So this is what your guests will be looking at with you and your um, the groom and the bride right there in the middle. So that's pretty cool. And then it looks like afterwards, the reception will probably be right up here. There's a tent set up here. And once again, this is just speculation. We're not sure if this is exactly where they do the weddings, but we're assuming that, you know, it's the perfect setup for a wedding, so... Here you are. Here's a lovely Jen drinking a Corona. And look at these lights. The they got fans, so if it's um, 85 degrees right, right now, these fans will be key. Yeah. 
Yeah, nature has gotten me. They don't like my um, blood type, it looks like. I've gotten bit a bunch of times already. But here's your dance floor. So if you want to get your foot loose on, this is where you will be. So just imagine that. And then there it is. And then just so you guys know, this will not be where we're getting married. We're going to post a video of where we get married sometime in the future. But for those of you who are interested in getting married at this resort, we just wanted to show you what this is like. All right. Stay tuned, guys. Hey, guys. We're at the Hilltop Restaurant here at the hotel. Um, here's a look at the menu here. Soups. There's their salad. There's their starters. You got their sandwiches here. Other side of the menu, you got the abaragas some pizza, some comfort foods, entrees, and then if you got the little kitties, they got the children's menu. We went with the starter of the chicken tenders, but we got it with the garlic parm, and we went with uh, the pizza, pizza, cheese pizza. And then we got Jen here, she's gonna do a Corona pour for you. So stay tuned for that, one second. All right, Jen's about to do a Corona pour with the mountains. Look at this, guys. Oh yeah, Steel Hill Resorts. You guys sure have a beautiful view. And you got a beautiful lady pouring a Corona. So take a look at that. Cheers, guys. All right, guys, the garlic Parmesan has arrived. So gar garlic Parmesan tenders. It smells delicious, I can tell you that much. We haven't tasted it quite yet, but it smells great. Boneless tenders, they serve with the standard carrots and celery. And um, we're going in, we're gonna try it. All right, Jen's going for that first bite. She's gonna let you know what she thinks. We can smell the garlic for sure. Really good. Go Very that. good. All right. That's a cheer so far. And of course, I got my handy dandy Bud Light. I got it in draft this time, guys. All right. We just got our cheese pizza. Michael's going in. He's going to grab the first slice. Let's see that cheese ball. There it is. Wow. Oh, that's a good cheese ball. <laughs> there it is. See what it's all about. We'll let you guys know. Goes that first bite, guys. That's a very good. Enjoying it. All right. How's that sauce ratio, sauce to cheese ratio? It's also cheesy, also good, and nice and crispy. I like it. It's cheers. It's cheers. All right, as promised, we are coming in from the sauna. We're going to show you this one of these indoor pools here. There he is. Hey guys. So this is what we just came out of the sauna. Got a little timer and temperature gauge over here. You can get poolside cocktails, which is really cool. All you do is pick up that handy dandy phone right there. Direct beverage line. Do you love that or what? I think money out of my face. Got a TV over there. Hot tub. Look at that view. Cool. Cool? It's refreshing though, not too crazy. It was nice. We're gonna go change into our swimsuits and um, we'll come back in a bit. Just finished up dinner. Look at that view. Can you even? Is it? Yeah, can you please? Can you please? Look at this view. Imagine if I fell in while recording this. Love that it's empty, and then out here is the nine foot pool opening next weekend, Memorial Day weekend. So the deep end is nine feet, and it goes down to five. There's our building. Want to go outside, Michael? See what's out here? There's a few people out here. There's the hot tub. We're gonna go um, inside and we'll check in. All right, guys, we're here with the happy recap of the Steel Hill Resorts in Sam Borton, New Hampshire. We just checked out of our room, which was up here in this building. Yep. Um, we did our laundry before leaving, which we said we love to do. It's always a plus to go home with fresh clothes. Got me a little stressed. It took a little longer than normal, but um, you know we weren't interrupt. You know, housekeeping didn't come and rush us out. We did check out about 40 minutes late, but no problem there. They didn't bother us. So yep, um, easy call or text to check out. Just confirmed any charges to your room, and then you authorize whatever it is, and good to go. All right. So overall, this was a great place. Um, and until the next adventure, guys, take care. Peace.